What is up everyone, my name is Chrono, and welcome back to Multi Chrono Play Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we did all the remaining quests that we could possibly do, well, that we could, can do, in front of Village, and now we're moving our way down to Colony 6, the final one in our adventure. I was still looking at all the quest lines on my notepad here, I'm like, oh, I only have like six more to go, and I remembered, oh yeah, I stopped going through the quest log halfway through the thing, because... It was too much. I was like, okay, let's just do this once we get back to it. So, today we're going to be doing a quest line. And it does require us to uh, head over some people. So, let's go grab them. One of them is in Colony 9. In the military district. There's a knot pond. Now, here's the thing. There's two different quest uh, people that can be sent here. Doing one of them... Will... Alright, so there's two people we can send over that's in the military dis district. I know we've seen them. I don't know if they're a knight not on or not. There's one right there. There's one over there. I think they're a knight not on. But I will go over the other one. I think they're over here. I think they're both knight, actually. Or very early day. There's no one in here, but there's an NPC in this town that we have never seen before. Alright, let's try night, because apparently... Oh, there's a person we need to talk to. Uh, Melfi, Melfi, and one other one. I think they're somewhere. I don't know exactly where they are. But they're in the military district, I believe. Yeah, uh, so this person right here. Both her and... Or him, I don't really remember. I didn't look. And Melfi, Melfi cannot be both sent to Colony 6. Only one or the other. This one actually is needed for a lot of quests, while the other one I think is only part of one quest line. So, we're calling Six is near Home Village and has a lot of grass as well. Uh, so, we'll invite her to Colony Six. So, that does lock you out of one quest, but I don't think we really care. I think we talked to that person once. Yeah. I don't think she would do anything with anybody. So she's just over here. This is why the whole changing the colony is always something I like. Ugh. So that's why I'm trying to do like as little as possible. So next one we want to do is go to Frontier Village. And we're going to go to the very top of Apex Lake. So there should be an NPC right there that we just jumped past. Also, there's a heart to heart. Why is it you gyms don't almost always have nothing in it? True nature. Let's view this one real quick. I thought it was much like ones that used to grow in the earth sea. Used to eat mean they doesn't anymore. Alas, the breed was wiped out and none like this grow there anymore. But the seeds must have disappeared all the way here and taken root. It's natural. It's isn't nature beautiful? I can see your love for flowers, Amelia. I do adore them. It's like I like nothing more than finding new species on our travel. How about you, Don Ben? Do you like flowers? To be honest. Not really. I don't get the impression that you dislike them all that strongly. 
Maybe that's just that you like them so strongly. You can't imagine that someone might not like flowers at all. That's not what I meant. It's just... If you hate flowers, you want to tend so carefully around them. I am beaten by your power of observation. You can always see a person's true nature from the, how they act in public. I've studied you all, all ever since we met. And told me about Shulk. <laughs> I thought it was well, ruthless. You really must know his people. My father and brother taught me much about imperial duties. I thought I would actually need those lessons. And yeah, sadly you do. I don't have myself in community with people. Maybe you don't maybe you need a few more of those lessons. Are you saying I lack people skills? You only see yourself around Ricky and Shulk, if I might say so. I wish you open up to the rest of us a bit more. We've all been through so much together on the battlefield. Sad that I barely used Dunban. Hot heart complete. Uh, but anyway, if we talk to Barry Jamie, not one to stay in this village, will not go out while sun is up, although treat me different. Want to live in village size about greenery. Invite to Colony 6. She has no quest or anything to do here. Her trades are mainly just... Eh. But she does trade the Camaro Rabbit in uh, Colony 6, which is something that Melia likes. So you can farm those up and just trade those. Alright, to Colony 6 we go. Now they have a long quest line. I want her to do all of it. She is needed for all of them. The yellow NPC is, I think, not needed, but to do the quest, both of them need to be needed. I, I don't get it, really. It's kind of confusing. If there's, like, two optional ones, this locks you out, but it says there's no missable quests. Okay, I lied. <laughs> it doesn't matter which one you bring to, uh, from Colony 6. Uh, from Colony 9. They're both need it uh it doesn't matter they both give the quest i thought you had to get the other one because it would lock you out of a quest but no they're just whichever one you want to do i'm right, going today there should be more quests but it's not never mind i was wrong we had to go back to uh, frontier village one last sec time well hopefully for this video because down here is an npc that I must talk to you. And speaking of which, I'm going to hit my party back just so I can try to get them at least two green between everybody. I know Ryan and Ricky are green, but at least the other two. Yes, this guy right here. Does he have anything worth treating right now? No, I don't think. Yay! I'm gonna talk to you and take you to Colony Six. I wonder if I cannot find him because he, well, is in Colony Six. All right, now after all that, let's finally start this quest line. Okay, he's over there. No? Well, that is a new question, uh, quest line that wasn't there beforehand. But, uh, yeah, I forgot that this guy actually had two different ones. One is for uh, the one that we're going to be doing, and then the other one is uh, if you chose the other one. Norara is studying to find cure to to her friend's illness, but now I have a big problem. Please tell me more. Yeah, maybe there's something we can do. Melfi Melfi had a wacky theory that no friend ill with a curse. So, have you do cursed bear jammy? There is another one. Uh, the other one is a week. Our weekend bear jammy? If you chose to bring the harms along. So we have to find what's her face and she's probably a knight not a pawn. I don't know why I went the other way just uh oh she's also up here. 
All right, coming over to Satoru's statues, we are going to find some fragments I believe we need. Yep, oh, they're over there. I think the best for us to do is go at the top. Anyway, uh, second time today. I've only recorded two videos, and both of them I stopped recording in the middle to do something else. <laughs> it's not my go-to thing to do, but it's something that just happened. Uh, the first time, uh, I was hungry, needed food, because I just woke up and there was nothing to eat. Uh, and so I left to grab food and also go look at the, uh, apartment that I'll be going to. Because I actually haven't seen it yet, well, till today. Uh, secondly, is there a way down from here? I don't think so. Actually, isn't there a... No, it's... I was about to say, it wasn't that, like, a unique monster that's, like, high level. But new, I don't think so. Uh, the second thing is, uh, during this episode, my friend, uh, messaged me on Discord. He's like, hey, want to chit-chat with me? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And so, uh, but after I talked to him and stuff, I was like, you know what? Even though I told this was going to be my goal, I'm probably not going to do it. I told myself I want to try to beat Xenoblade Chronicles 1. And, well, I think it is at the very top, and I'm just... Alright, let's go back to this, this summit. But yeah, uh... It was... Uh, my goal, original goal was to beat this whole game before I moved. Not the whole game, but just mainly Xenoblade 1. Like the main story, and then like after game or New Game Plus. I would have... Just... Well, done something. <laughs> but then I thought thinking, you know... As much as that would be cool, I like how this one tiny gem is, uh... No, that's not good. But yeah, so, as much as I think, if I have to force myself to record so much, I'll get to the point where I'm, I'm dead. But yeah, I'll get to the point where, like, I'm getting more, more frustrated just to make sure I can get done. So some of the videos, like, what we're doing right now is getting cut into segments and I kind of don't want that to happen so therefore I try my best to not do as much in a single day and since I have like only a one day time limit left it's like should I just say just let me have fun and play the game and then when the game is done it's done I'm not trying to rush through things but I'll probably still record a lot more today because I do have stuff to do and I'll probably do that around like five or six because around 7, I do have to start packing everything. Please tell me this doesn't kill me. It does not. Here we go. The statue fragment. We can go back to colony 9, I think. You can't, actually, no, I think the fastest way is actually going to the main entrance and then moving backwards. But yeah, my friend was streaming, like, when I was doing the first half, I saw him stream, like, oh, he's streaming. Uh, and he streamed for, I think, four hours. He was going to do a second God of War marathon. And he was like, I was like, you did it once, you don't really have to do it multiple times. He's like, you do not really prove anything. If you just want to have fun playing the game, by all means, just have fun. But don't, like, like go through, like, a whole marathon or something like that. Because that's what can actually kill, like, moods for stuff. I remember uh, there was something I did recently that I just constantly kept doing it. I spent like 12 hours a day just doing that one thing and it just was not fun. I gotta change the time tonight. Talk to you. And then wow, we have to change it today. But yeah, while I was chit-chatting with him, I was playing Pokemon Unite and uh, there's a new season, which I didn't know, so I might actually start making some videos on those, possibly, just to kill some time. And... When I did that... The first two games, I got destroyed. I lost. I was like, oh man. I have to get relearn this game and stuff like that. Then, the third game, I was playing Greninja. I was popping off. I was destroying people left and right. And then when me and my friend talking, he just went mute for a while. I was like, yeah, I think he... It's like, I think he disconnected. And then I'll say I'll, on, uh, when I was playing Greninja, it's like, 
I just froze. I'm like, oh no, I'm disconnecting. And yeah, my internet just died for some reason. So anyway, the second quest to this line is a... No thing, I think it's like Obstain, Obstinent or something like that. Berry Jammy. And I think all we have to do is just talk to someone. I think Dunban has to be in our group for this. Uh, yes, we have to go talk to. Hang on, is she, is she a knight NPC? From the looks of it, yes. She's over there. <laughs> Some delicious juice, why not try it? Yuck, no. Oh, I had to play as Dunban. Scared, huh? Little one, drink your medicine. If you don't, you, how can you enjoy the outside with your friends? I just like you. Hum hum man, cool. Medicine might not look nice, but I sure it tastes good. And many people went to a lot of hard time making things. Guess hum hum, sir. <laughs> I don't know what to do with uh You know, don't fans just like one of those people you just have to look up to. It's like, man, he was the hero of uh Colony 9. I don't think it was like a hero for Colony 6, because I would be Gado, I believe. But who knows? Alright, that quest is done. That's the thing about a lot of these, uh... Berry jammies and all those quest lines. It's really... Simple to do. They're really easy. Uh, and that will complete the quest line featuring him, I believe. But, if we change time real quick... Back to night. She will have quests for us. This is the start of, I believe, some things. You also have to have a quest line called Chemist Reopening done. And that's all we need to get done. Either discuss Barry Jimmy's condition with Noara or give her some of Olga's medicine. Let's give it an all. Yes. So the two outcomes. So the three options are. Well, the two options, not three, my bad. Is you either go talk to Nora Nora, which we're going to do. So we're going to change time again. Yay! And. Or talk to Olga. If you talk to Olga, the quest is a lot more easier. All you do is talk to Olga and then you just. Turn it in. But, if you do Nora Nora's side, which is right down here, we have to collect three cattle pile vinegar and a toll marsh. I don't know exactly what that would be, but I have a feeling like maybe around here possibly. But yeah, you need three of them. And if you do this, you get blue affinity between Norara and Barry Jamie. But it become red affinity if you do not do that. It might change later down the line. So it probably doesn't really matter. Ma matter? Matter? Uh, matter. So. Yes. Still a lot of things I have to do. I did one thing I wanted to do today. And there's still like a few more things I want to do. Uh, one being... Uh, Maple Story. I still have to do my dailies from that. Because uh, a new event came out where we have to actually... Like... Cap coins and stuff. And I want to make sure I cap coins and do everything. And miss a day. You can miss days. Because that's how Maple is. Usually with these events you can miss one or two days. But I try my best not to do them. I miss them, but... That's what I want to do in this... Thing. And I'm trying not to overwhelm myself with doing a lot of stuff at once. So that's why I'm not trying to rush through it. Because there's also something else I want to do. I'm just going to keep going to the office. I don't want to walk all the way up there. So, yeah. Also, I want to start doing some other videos and stuff like that. But with 
two Let's Plays. I know Kirby's done, but we're about to start up a new one relatively soon. I think I'm going to start it on the 1st of uh, May, which at the time of this recording is in two days. But I want to make sure that everything I'm doing is done. That was actually cool, but the thing that popped up. And aside from that, there's something else. Uh, I've been playing Grand Chase, but I did do Grand Chase. I did uh, do my attendance, which is... Like, for Maple Story, there's a daily attendance, which you do have to wait at least an hour to do. But that one's not hard. You just leave the game on, and you get there. Same thing Grand Chase. Uh, with Maple, there's another thing you have to do where you have to kill 300 monsters, and then you can get a check, like a daily check-in. If you do that, you get some, at least some rewards. And... The thing I want to do on uh, on Grand Chase, at least like it's 30 minutes, just do that. So I did that. Uh, also, it also has an attendance, but like that's not really something like I'm trying to focus on. I do want to play that game a lot more. I recently did start leveling up my Lucilligan because I love that character. They're just amazing. Anywho, uh, back over here and talk to Norara. He go makes medicine. Is he uh, supposed to be like a medicine person here? Also, I saw a quest back there with uh, the trader. I think he possibly can do again, but I'm not gonna really worry about that. So we got the quest done. I don't think it like excludes anything. If it does, well, should look more into it. I uh, change time. It's too weak, but maybe it's better tasting like this. Last time it was too powerful. Don't worry about it, it was nothing. With that, quest is now complete. I believe we might actually have three stars with, uh, I mean four stars with calling six now. Nope, still at the three. So there is another quest line with you. And since you need three and a half affinity, and seeing as it's not popping up, must mean we don't have three and a half affinity yet. Uh, what? Okay, the video is at 13 minutes. Uh, the last recording was 15, so that means a total of at least 30 minutes have passed. So, I will look for another quest thing so we can do another quest line. All right, so the only quest I can think of doing right now is another one to invite someone over. And after looking at it, I did look into it. And we do not have to worry about anything. She has only one quest line and she should be actually heading outside of her house right now. And you have to have Shulk in your lead and you also need to have level four housing and things and you can invite Aunt Desiree. Is she right here? No, she has to be. I don't know if she's around here somewhere. Is she over there? Yes, you need uh to invite Rosemary over. But I will say this beforehand: if you're playing alongside me and doing stuff along thing, trade with her right now and over trade because those are quests we have. I changed time. There's a quest log. Let's go to Colony 9. There's a quest we don't have finished because we couldn't do it. I thought we could, but I wasn't looking into it. Uh, Friendship token. See how we need four Lizard Moon Jewels, which you get those from Lizards in Tefra Cave in the level 90 enemies. As for those, she does trade only in Colony 9. And as an overtrade. So before that, get at least the four you need. Uh, so let's invite her to Colony 6. I was like, how are you over there if you are? Rosemary's not over there. And if I do miss it on that, oh well. So I'm pretty sure if you go through New Game Plus, uh, everything just gets nuked anyway. Alright, back to uh, Colony 6. I think it's like... I keep forgetting that on my leg there's a really long cut. And what I find funny, it was caused because of a freaking tiny piece of crumb. 
that was in my bed that just, I guess, fell underneath the... Because I had a tiny hole inside my, uh... Whatchamacallit? Whatever that thing is called. There's a tiny hole in my sh that was in my sheets. I say was because I threw that bed out because we had to, apparently. But I guess a crumb got under there, and then when I jumped into my bed, it, like, cut my leg. I'm like, how... I'm like, what scratched me? Or, like, what cut me? Confused. And it just happened to be that, and at least now it's healed, it's just it's the scabs are still there. Alright, Rosemary. Her trait does change. Uh, aside from that, nothing great. Nothing I think I need for a quest either, so Hi, Rosemary. So you finally remembered me. When you told me about all the men, I rushed straight here. I did not tell you a single thing about the men. Maybe I did, I don't know. It doesn't sound good. I wish sure. why don't we try to help her? No, now, where are all the things you introduced me to? Maybe you're not the best people to be asking. I don't know. Any bad breath, old fart, you didn't hear me? In pursuit of love, we have to find four NPCs. And some of them might be NPCs that we don't have because we need to actually probably trade them over. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, so, the best thing to do. Find the quest on this thing and then register it. Find a timid. Find a knob on food cut. Oh, I know what that is. So we have to find a food connoisseur, a timid humsman, a rough and ready humsman, and then a composed high India. I'll talk to you. Rosemary likes Poker Poker, or Poker only likes food. Rosemary cook? If she can cook, Poker would like her. Yo, that's kind of... I could have sworn that this changed... Uh, earlier. Wait, right, as for the other three... Uh, they're not in Colony... Uh, six at the moment. They are all NPCs that are in other, well, in the, in Colony 9, and also I think Valak Mountain. So, let's go grab them. First off, I think he's over here. Okay, at night time, there is an NPC. I think he's... Is it, no, that's... Uh, what's her face? Actually, I think I know what it is. I think it's this guy behind... Here. Yeah, Nick. He has no quest. The only quest he does, does it's in Colony uh, 9. We actually can't do this quest. I just now realize. We cannot do this quest. Because we can't actually invite this guy over. Because to invite him over, if I talk to him, uh, he's not going over. Because we need to have housing level 5, which we do not have. So this is a quest line we can't even do. But at least I accepted it, so we can do it in the future. But if the other ones we can do... In the residential area, there should be an NPC as well. I don't know why. Oh, there's only. Uh, let's just go this way. There are three things here. There's one over here. I thought it was. Oh, he's right here. Good day. My mates have been aiming me. 
on to dump this place and move on. Or do nothing uh, right now, but let's look at your trades because I don't. Also, his quest, most of his quests also, um, and uh, whatchamacallit. Also, he also trades Lizard Moon Jewels. So, if you also didn't have Rosemary, you also have this guy. But that's uh, if he's here in Colony. Uh, whatchamacallit? He does not have those. But he does have Dauber Corgis, which is another thing that Melia likes that someone in Colony. Oh, defend Colony 6 Elite. So we have a surprise mission for us to do, which you can do that. We're gonna go back. And the last one we have to do, the heart to heart here, but we don't have heart affinity, is Val in Valak Mountain. Now this guy, if you don't have the, I think it was special, done to level three, like I, yet, uh, this is where you can get Ice Cabbage and Snow Elemental. So if you really need those, this guy is right here and you can trade with them. I don't think I need them anymore. And yes. if I do need them, well, I'll just suck it up and try to grind for it. Different Colony 6 Elite is down there. Okay. So let's do this real quick. There's some inti high anti around, which is terrifying. So we can't do the rest of that quest because all oh, these are level 65, so it's not that bad. Alright, let's battle. You think I have Shulk? Alright, let's do Monado Buster. Yes, uh, Ricky won't be doing much damage, but I don't care. Because his whole goal is to use his ether stuff that will do damage. To be able to damage it. i to move my thing in front of me because it's blocking the screen. Alright, quest complete. Attack's over, so everything's back should be back to normal now. Level up. Ricky's now level 76. Alright, so let's go back to this place. So we're not going to worry about that. There's actually a quest right here. A uh, Warner. What's your second quest? Alright, Warner does have a quest for us, but here's the problem with that quest. Let me go to items real quick. Let's see I have them. Please tell me I do. I think they're collections. Uh, da -da -da. Flower. What's item we have to collect? And I think I did end up using them. Uh, by name. I think I did miss, end up getting it. So here's the thing with this quest, and a part of me doesn't really want to do it. Not because it's hard. Because you have two routes, A and B. I'm just going to pause it so that, uh, he doesn't move too far if I do. One, th it doesn't really think, nothing really changes. It just, it's one of those things, do which one you want to do. One of them requires us to talk to uh, that one knob on that one and just get the perfume. And then one talks to uh, Norara that we did earlier. No affinity changes, I believe. Between the two characters. But the only problem is, Route A is by talking to the one knob on, what we did the perfume with. We have to go to get some death lichy, I think lichy, I think is what that item is called. Which can only spawn on Prison Island, the final dungeon of the game. Meaning, I would have to do this quest, take a small break to then come back. Or do the other one, which is collect, I think, 10. Mystic, uh... Mystic D uh, Delias. Delias or something like that. Uh, from Alchemoth, which means we have to walk around all those just to actually get... Luckily, Route B is a lot more easier because we can just turn it on and try to avoid the fights. So I think I'm still going to do this, but... I'm actually not going to do it actually. Reason for it is to get that quest, you need to have 
There's a red marker over there for some reason. Oh, I must. That's just me talking to somebody, I guess. Nah, never mind. That's weird. To do this quest, you have to have three and a half affinity. So there has to be something with this quest that I can't do. Oh, I just had to talk to her. Wow. So now this has a quest line we can do, which I want to try to complete this one. This is the main one I wanted to do. Miss Sweetness Showdown. So it's pretty much another cook off, but now we're doing stuff with sweet, like sweetness and stuff. All right, so you get a quest called Miss Sweetness Showdown. Now there's two versions of this quest. There's one that you get from Barry Jamie, and then the other one is from uh, Martrish or something like that. The I entered that with the whole perfume thing we did. The critic with uh, that one with Hoko. I don't remember. But her. Both of them have a quest. You can choose to do whichever one. At the, the end of the whole thing, you will get the same affinity and all that. I think it's all the same item. It's just different items. And the one that I probably want to do. So yeah, I want to slend this quest. Thank you. So anyway, the reason why I want to do the other one is because if you do the her path, you end up getting attended glasses and electric plus. I mean, yeah, no, bleed plus, uh, bleed plus five. While if I go the other one, I get electric plus five. Either way, they're both kind of like the same thing, but electric is a damage that Melia can constantly do. While bleed is something that Ricky can apply every once in a while. So we're gonna do this one. Uh, no, this is Warner, I believe. Oh, she's at the. Of course, she's at the food place. Why did I not think about that? Hi there. Finally, you're here. I really need to tell you something. Do you have a minute? What is it? You're looking down in the dumps. I cannot thank you enough. The other day, I was challenged by a loaded up one. I could barely make out what she, the sweet thing was saying, but she seeks to be the undisputed Miss Sweetness of all the six. That's not like I'm really in that sort of thing anyway. But as a high end, I can't just back down for the challenge. The only challenge is a simple one: whoever gets the most transparent object in the world fastest wins. The test is intellect cloning and resource resourcefulness. So well, so yeah, you get the same quest, and Miss Thing, you know. So let's I can accept it. If you accept this one, you can't do the other one. Hi there. I, I didn't mean to do that. So what we have to do? See this. Uh, this one requires us to speak to someone in front of village. This one tells us to get the most transparent thing. I believe if you do the other one, at least the one on the uh, Barry Jammies uh, side. You have to go to Valak Mountain, I think, talk to a high end uh, area map. <laughs> well, if you do this one, you do Frontier <laughs> Village. So the high end gets help from Anapon, and then Anapon gets help from a high end Perfect. I don't know what floor that she's on, but we'll find out together. Wait, uh, what's that? Why are you making me go down? But yeah, uh, I think there's not really much more quests. I'll keep looking into it. We're probably still gonna have one extra episode of us going through Colony Six, but I think it should be that one. There's still a few quests we can do, and a lot of them sent over NPCs, and some of them might need us to have level five building, which are uh, like housing farming or something like that we probably won't be able to do it so what i'm probably going to do is and something i want to do actually is i want to start do, going through the bionis interior so once we get access to going to prison island i can then go back that's one thing i want to do are we going to apex like i could just teleport up here 
Hmm. I'm eventually he gets to like Mountain. Wait, there's no mention in his research now. Oh no, okay, it's the same quest. I was confused. So they both do the same thing. It's just, I thought you gotta go to one or the other. Most likely they're here, because it makes sense. Oh, maybe it's not even a. I it's a Nopon. Oh, Cuckoo is a Nopon. A pure ice fire from an area. Okay, luckily there was a. I'm trying to look at my map. It is. I have this little. A uh, hill right here will take us to this part of the map, and I believe we're just going a straight line. Then good. And here we are. There is our frozen flower, the pure ice flower. Quest complete. We found the most transparent thing. Back to colony six, and we can turn it in, and we'll be golden. Why right, I have your most transparent thing. Quest complete. This will end up finishing the Miss Sweetness showdown. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now to get the second part of the quest, you go talk to the opposite person. So if you did bear jammies, you talk to uh, her. Wait, you're still there, okay. Then during the day, but we can't do it because sadly, we don't have four stars with affinity with colony nine or six. So yeah. Well, with that done, we're gonna actually end off the episode here. So next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we will probably do one more round of questing in Colony 6, and if not, and there's just not enough quests to probably get us 4 stars, I will then instead go do the next story thing, and then go from there. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys later.